And a tropical paradise is taking shape at Golden Gate Park. We'll give you a sneak preview of the new coral reef exhibit. This is ABC 7 News at 6. And a bit later, your first good look at a new underwater world at Golden Gate Park. What's being done to make visitors feel like they're taking a trip to the tropics? The news... A spectacular coral reef is taking shape in Golden Gate Park tonight, the latest milestone at the California Academy of Sciences' new museum. The building won't open until September, but some new underwater residents are already getting settled in. And tonight, we bring you an up-to-date look at the drive to discover how to create a tropical paradise in a place usually known for its fog. This is the first piece of coral moving in to what will soon be one of the largest living coral reef exhibits anywhere in the world. It's an exciting moment for a team that's been planning this for years. Oh, it's wonderful. It's going to be really hard to get me to get out of this today. <laughs> the coral reef is inside the California Academy of Sciences' new building in Golden Gate Park. The tank holds 212,000 gallons of water, piped in four miles from the Pacific Ocean. It's really well thought out. Visitors can look right down on the coral from above, then go downstairs and get a different view through one of five windows into the tank. It's very impressive now, but just two years ago, all of this was pretty hard to imagine. In 2006, construction on the coral reef tank was just beginning. The shell for the tank was built at the same time the rest of the building was going up around it. Across town, the Academy put in a coral farm to grow inhabitants for this new exhibit. The staff wanted to grow their own coral so they wouldn't have to take it out of the wild. Growing coral in such an environment is a little tricky. They collected small pieces of coral from other museums. Then they had to figure out the perfect conditions to make the coral feel as if it were in the tropics. We were doing everything that we could to, to feed the corals, give them the right lighting, give them the right water circulation, control problem algaes, do all that kind of stuff so that we could maximize the time that we had, the limited time that we had to grow a thousand, more than 1,000 square foot coral reef. While the coral grew, so did its future home. This is what the tank looked like last May. Crews made artificial rocks by piling cinder blocks to mimic the shape of natural habitat. The blocks were wrapped with plastic mesh, then sprayed with concrete. Workers created a realistic texture on the rock work by using casts from actual coral reef walls. They hung energy-efficient halide lamps that will simulate tropical light. The giant viewing windows were installed. Finally, they piped in ocean water, and the tank was ready. Now the next big step, moving the coral from the farm to its new home. The move will take months, but we were there for the first moving day. Biologist Seth Walters is in charge of getting the corals safely out of their tanks. So just kind of wave the water over the top of the polyps. The polyps are the, the nice tentacles, green tentacles that you see out and about. And basically I try to wave over the top of them so they pull in a little bit. That will help them protect themselves when they're exposed a little bit to the air. The corals are gently packed in plastic bags and styrofoam boxes, then driven to their new home in Golden Gate Park. The team has to work fast so the coral won't be out of the water too long. The divers get right to work. They're just learning the intricacies of this new tank. It's very complicated and three-dimensional and has lots of little nooks and crannies and holes. And we'll kind of wedge those corals down so that they're in a secure spot. The divers are trying a variety of species in different parts of the tank to see what works where. The exhibit is designed to simulate a coral reef in the Philippines, one of the world's most diverse habitats. Academy scientists say global warming and other environmental problems may destroy up to 70% of the Earth's coral reefs in the next 15 years. They hope this exhibit will show visitors why the reefs are worth saving. And if you think diving in that tank looks fun, it certainly did to me, you could have the chance. The Academy is recruiting volunteer certified divers to help maintain the exhibit. For information, go to our website, abc7news.com, and then click on See It on TV. And Carolyn, it is just a stunning Yeah, facility. what a Pretty fascinating cool. new space. Yeah. Very cool.